and hobbyists. One of the new vehicles I have been waiting to see the chief engineer build is his Tamiya Kong head. This 6x6 monster is meant to be good and it should be a great addition to his fleet. I have been worried that now he is venturing into the world of lorries and trucks that his consumption of Yorkie bars will increase, but he has peeing into an empty bottle down to a tea already. Anyway, enough of this waffle and let me hand you over to RC so and so's Jerry Reed to see how the Conkhead build has gone. This is uh, Tamiya G601, the Conkhead, all complete, everything in place, the radio gear, the SC, in this we've put a BZ motor, um, we've got the servo, but also I put the second servo in for the real, rear wheel steering. At first I wasn't going to bother, but then we thought we'd give it a go, and I must admit, it's really good. The handling of this is wonderful. It's a great vehicle. It's got a lot of weight to this one. We've got the six wheels. Really cool. So we're going to put this one through its paces. Take it off-road. Really nice. So for this one, let's have a look at the shell. So for this one, Something a little bit different. What do you think of that? Really nice. I've used quite a lot of the Conged decals. Sprayed it up in this lovely copper. And then we've put some extra decals on. The Fall Guy, Stuntman Associated. And at the front, we got the big turbo, if you like. Really nice. Add something different to the Conged. Look at that. Made up with this. Got all the aluminium bits. So I think if the fall guy was to buy a vehicle in 2023, it would be the Conged. Brilliant. So we're going to take this out for its first run and then show you what it can do. Well, Lee Majors would certainly approve. I know I have discussed before the likes of the Fall Guy, which falls into the category of programme like the A-Team and Knight Rider, Street Hawk and Airwolf. These whodunit adventure-based shows were a staple of my childhood viewing. After All In Wrestling was over, they would show these stories and it was gripping viewing featuring mild peril. The context was not overly important, like the Fall Guy, a stuntman organisation, as long as the show featured some stunts, his amazing cabin, his bathtub, and Heather Thomas, the rest of the story kind of came together. The Fall Guy also featured the theme tune, which was performed by Lee Majors himself. It was amazing that he was able to do this and The Million Dollar Man, two roles which were different but in the same hemisphere, and get away with it. I do think this Kong head suits and deserves his livery. The added chrome also makes the model pop. I am glad that he did add the second servo, as we might as well see what this can do. Again, having a BZ motor in it should give it some welly, but it will be interesting to see how it handles the weight of the vehicle. Anyway, let's see how this Tamiya Kong head handles its first run. <coughs>
Not much for outtakes this week, but here they are anyway. So you don't miss out on further videos and similar nonsense, please like, feel free to comment, definitely subscribe, and press that bell-shaped thingy to be woken up at all hours for further content. But for now, that's your lot.